And we want to start by getting our seal and buttress installed. And to do that, we use a installation tool and we put the buttress in first. And once this is all inside here, we want the buttress to be backed up to the hoop ring like so. And the buttress has a flat side and a chamfered side. Flat side always needs to go to the hoop ring. So when we put it on our installation tool, the flat side needs to be facing the handle. And I like to put some Parker lube on this. If you're in a food grade application, it's important to use food grade lube rather than the Parker lube. And, and we put it in from the, the female threaded end. And we just go all the way in like so. Take our tool out. And next we need some Parker lube or food grade lube. On our high pressure O-ring. And then we install it onto our high pressure seal. So we'll put our high pressure seal onto our installation tool with the O-ring facing the handle. Next we put a little bit of food grade lube or Parker lube on here. Either one is okay on the bleed down valve. And next we'll put our hoops, hoop ring on here. And we need to look and see the inside is, is tapered and that fits down over the seal. So we need, it's important to get that on correctly. If we put it on backwards, we can tell that it doesn't fit down over the seal properly. So taper facing the seal, and it sits down on like so. Then we put it into the high pressure housing. And then it too goes into the barrel of the high pressure housing. And just push it in here. And that dropped in. And we always want to look through this high pressure inlet hole and make sure that we see the tool moving there and that we cannot see any high pressure seal. If we can see the high pressure seal there, it's not in far enough. And if we try and run it that way, it will leak immediately. Next step here, we need to blue goop the flat side of this poppet landing. And I like to blue goop this inner taper on the outlet body and then put the poppet landing in and smear that blue goop around. And then it's just where it, exactly where it needs to be. I should back up one step here and put the poppet in before I forget. And some Parker lube on the shaft. And we, with our fingers, get it started into the, the hole on the high pressure seal. And it's started there. And we have this plastic push piece here that comes inside your tool kit, or rebuild kit, excuse me. And we just push it down the rest of the way. And we should see our poppet is f about flush with our dust seal on the other end. So back to our outlet body here. Need to blue goop the threads. And we put the outlet landing into the body with the taper side looking out towards us. that body. And then we tighten this down. Next high pressure collar block here. And we want the mounting holes to normally face the outlet body here. Let that fall down. And we want to blue goop these threads where we meet up with the hydraulic housing. And 
turn these together. And then we snug it down. Then we put the catcher back on. Let's re blue goop our threads if needed on this gland nut. Tighten that down, and then we have a, an Allen head little set screw here to set the collar where we need it to be, and that is the bleed down. It's ready to go back on the machine.